Hello students, welcome to EduAid. My name is Amarjit Dev. Uh, I'm working as assistant professor at Assam Don Bosco University. Well, friends, in the last lesson, you have learned about the features of management. Uh, in this session today, we will be learning about the various objectives of various objectives of management. Now, to begin with. There are numerous objectives that an, that management has under its purview. Bohut honor objectives are but they have been classified broadly into three categories. The first one I would like to uh, put it as organizational objective. It comes under organizational object. Now, when we are talking about organizational objectives, there are uh, these objectives are directly related with the organization in a manner that such that if these objectives are not attained the organization will not be able to survive or exist or you know the organization will not be able to exist it will simply perish so what are those i mean interested so let us put this as the first one is the objective of under organizational objective the first point is survival organization hospital any healthcare diagnostic center school or college FMCG company IT software company the most important objective the, the primary objective is survival now the question is how what is survival survival means wherein the organization any organization is related to producing any organization is related to producing I got Korisilo, Pahurigosa, goods and services. Now, any organization, this is an earning for an organization. That means this, this becomes a source of earning for an organization. Now, any organization will survive provided that goods and services are being sold in the market and from that they start earning. Earning what initially? Earning to key earn koribo revenue. I mean revenue buliko. Revenue which should be first sufficient to cover the cost or expenditure. Are you following? Buzipala to maluke. So the and then comes the second objective. What is the second objective? First is survival. The second objective is profit. Revenue comes from earning comes from selling the goods and services so therefore you can say this as revenue less expenditure or cost will give you profit okay so organization is only profit no hore take it all can I can reinvest koribo take it all in not one technology can I can buy in koribo Othoba, tekhte bankers jodi loan to ase loan to kena kena repay kori bo. there is an interest element in the loan as well. Okay. And number two is, you know, uh, without earning profits, they are telling salaries kena kena pay kori to the employees. Okay. Or maybe every year employees look for growth, so he will kena kena mitigate kori bo. Kena kena take care kori bo. So therefore, profit is a very vital element in any organization. And for this, it is interrelated. You know, you are talking of profit on one side. You are talking of this is like a chain. I would like to put it like this okay they're all linked you know you need to survive and then you need to think of earning profit now friends what is the third objective the third objective is growth growth means growth in growth would mean growth in sales the sales revenue should increase the sales revenue should increase how does sales revenue increase when you offer appropriate goods and services okay now when you grow you tend to you are actually again this this is again linked okay these are all linked in the sense that the growth in the organization will help it help itself grow to ahe can again only through effective utilization of resources number one offering appropriate goods and services or need based services or goods to the consumers identifying contributing to their lifestyle are you getting the point and creating solutions business solutions by offering products and services 
আজি দিনত তোমালোকে যদি ভাবা ইফ আই ইফ আই এম টু নেম ইউ আ প্রডাক্ট উইচ ইজ অফ ডায়ার নিড ইন টু ডেজ সিনেরিও কব পারিবা ইয়া দেয়ার আর মেনি বাট ওয়ান অফ দেম ইউনো গ্লাভস ইজ দেয়ার মাস্ক ইজ দেয়ার টু বিগিন উইথ এন্ড দেন দেয়ার ইজ পিপিই পার্সোনাল প্রোটেকটিভ ইকুইপমেন্ট দ্যাটস এ প্রোডাক্ট রিসেন্টলি কালি ইয়েস্টারডে অর ডে টু ডেজ ব্যাক উই হ্যাভ ইম্পোর্টেড ফ্রম চাইনা ওকে ফিফটি থাউজেন্ড ইউনিটস ওকে বেসড অন দ্য নিড উই ডো নট হ্যাভ এনি লোকাল ফার্ম টু ম্যানুফ্যাকচার দ্যাট ইন ফিউচার প্রবেবলি দেয়ার উইল বি ফার্মস কামিং আউট উইথ দ্যাট অর ফর এক্সাম্পল ইউনো ইন দিস ইন দিস সিনারিও ওয়েন ইয়ার টকিং অফ অনলাইন মোড অফ লার্নিং দেয়ার আর দেয়ার আর লট অফ কোম্পানিজ কামিং আউট উইথ ভেরিয়াস অ্যাপস অ্যান্ড মেথডোলজিস ওকে দোজ আর নথিং বাট ইউ ক্যান সেভ সার্ভিসেস অর প্রোডাক্টস সো দেয়ার ফোর উইথ ওনলি ওয়েন organization can create a reputation a goodwill in the market how does an organization do that the initial connect is by offering the right kind of product mix bulliamiko by offering the right kind of product mix okay which caters to the needs of the consumers and those products must be offered in the right price otherwise people will will not be able to buy those products okay so therefore uh, in this session you have learned about what are the various objectives of ম্যানেজমেন্ট ওকে ব্রডলি দেয়ার আর থ্রি অবজেক্টিভস তোমালোকে কোয়েশ্চেনস এনেকে আহে পরীক্ষাত যে অর্গেনাইজেশনাল অবজেক্টিভটো বুঝাই দিয়া বা এক্সপ্লেইন দ্য অর্গেনাইজেশনাল অবজেক্টিভস অর এক্সপ্লেইন হোয়াট ইজ সার্ভাইভেল প্রফিট এন্ড গ্রোথ ওকে নেক্সট উই কাম টু দ্য সেকেন্ড পয়েন্ট ওকে হুইচ ইজ সোশিয়াল অবজেক্টিভ সোশিয়াল অবজেক্টিভ মিনস অ্যান অর্গেনাইজেশন মাস্ট হ্যাভ ইটস ইনক্লিনেশন এন্ড রেসপন্সিবিলিটি টুয়ার্ডস দ্য সোসাইটি one is by offering right products and services number two taking care of the environment giving employment to the people nearby people in various positions improve the standard of living of the people one is by employment next is by offering great products i would say it may be a small or a very big product but end of the day it should help the people to improve their lifestyles those are examples of social benefit ajikali csr boli eta kotha ahe corporate social responsibility uh, where in you know there is government has given tax benefit if companies invest you know are eta example more eta monot porise tumaloke jodi tumalokor kitabor if you turn it back you'll find you know itc especially classmate notebooks you'll find you know 1 rupee is donated to a particular organization ngo okay for the benefit of the under privileged children so that's an example of social responsibility thik ase and the third objective of management is people most important or all are important people when we say people we can understand this as you know human people means we can understand this as human resource now you'll find that an organization is mix up of different categories of people in various positions people with different skills different knowledge and today organization has become you know multi dimensional in terms of you know people from different caste and communities different places even from foreign countries people are working in india so therefore management of people has become very very uh, very very important and it has to be done efficiently by the concerned managers of various departments okay so these three points are very very important when you talk of objectives of management now the question that you may be asked as i said you know or explain the social benefit or explain the social objectives or uh, explain the third objective which is people or tumalo get a broad question is about ahi bo pare explain the various objectives of management so which you can answer by whatever we have discussed by you need you can always give any example you can think of i have given examples from my side okay thank you